Hey guys, Woody here with Express Screen. Uh, today I'm going to show you all how we uh, install a QS200 print driver. So uh, I got our zip file here downloaded from Dropbox and uh, that is something that we will send over to you when you're uh, trying to do the installation and makes it pretty easy. Uh, downloading from Dropbox is pretty simple. I just put it in my desktop to make it easier on y'all. And once you've got that zip file, you're going to want to click Extract All. Uh, you're extracting that just because uh, none of uh, the, the file that you need to uh, insert into your print drivers and stuff is not going to work if it's in that zipped file. So I'm going to move this out here. That's the uh, same thing as this, just unzipped. Now that I've got that done, I'm going to go down to my Windows, go to Settings, and uh, I, did, I didn't mention this before, sorry, but uh, we're, we're doing this specifically for a uh, Windows computer. So I went to Devices and Settings, then I go to Printers and Scanners, and from here, we're going to go to Print Server Properties. Once you've got that pulled up, click on your Drivers tab, and you're going to be adding a new driver. Go ahead and go to next. Make sure you've got 64 checked. Uh, I don't really think it necessarily has to be highlighted, but I always do. It's always nice to have, uh, you know, just be 100% sure that that's going to be what you're looking for. And then scroll down from your uh, manufacturers, find Rizo Kagaku, and then you're going to go to have disk. So even if you don't have the disk, the disk is that 64 that I was talking about, it should be in there. So I'm gonna to go to desktop to find that. There's this, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, that INF file, that's all I need. So I, I pulled it up, it's already got everything in there. I'm just gonna open that, click OK, finish, and it's gonna think about this for a minute. Oh, there we go, it's uh, got it pulled up. But here you'll see uh, we do not have a QS200 in here right now. And the, re the one thing we need to do to get this to uh, finish setting up is plug in a QS200 to it, which I am doing right now. Y'all can't see that, but I am just plugged in a QS200 there. And boom, right there, you've got your QS200 driver. So that's how you set up your QS200 driver. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Uh, definitely let us know if you have any problems with that, and we'll uh, get you all straightened out. Thanks for uh, watching this video, and we hope it was uh, helpful and informative.